All right, we got a treat for you guys today. What I got here today is a Royal Canadian Air Force 1959 food survival canister. This thing is very old, very vintage, and it is in mint, mint condition, guys. No bulging, no nothing. Just an immaculate shape. And I am going to open this up with you guys today. And we're going to take a look inside and see what's in there. Um, the only information I got on it is that it's 1959. It's old and vintage. And it's Royal Canadian Air Force. Oh, um, the tape is very old. I tried to take it off to, to read this. I couldn't really read what it said here. And what it says is, eat no food the first day of survival. And two, make the food in this can last three days. This thing is very dense, and it also comes with a Fred and a little wire, and we'll get into that later. And on the back here of the can, it says, uh, open carefully the, open carefully on the top of the can with the opener. Empty the contents into the plastic provided in the seal pack. Place the empty can on a hard surface and use the handle of the can opener to press down any ragged edges use the can as a cooking utensil punch holes with the can opener at the places marked and make a handle with the wire provided one thing i also noticed too guys is zoom on the side of the can if you can see that little tab they give you the option to use a key I know a lot of servicemen back in that day, like Royal Canadian Air Force and stuff like that, carried those little keys with them. Uh, I think that was like a secondary thing in case they lost this Fred right here. Um, or they didn't have one available that they used that, that little key, that rolling key. Um, we're not going to use that though because I want to keep this can intact. So we are going to open it from the top. So the first thing I want to do is I want to slowly and carefully, that one was already taken off. I already took these off, guys, because I was trying to figure out what the writing said on it. Um, this did come from Emory Mountain, so thank you very much. And as stated on the can, it did come with a wire, and that's for using this can to um, boil water or whatever, and then the little Fred. So we're going to open this up. And we're going to hear for any hisses. Oh, yeah. Nice hiss, guys. So I'm going to open this up very slowly. little at a time hoping not to puncture anything it's the only thing I don't like about opening this like this is puncturing something I don't know how everything's settled in here so when I get this all opened I'll get back with you all right I got most of it open hoping not to that I didn't puncture everything or anything so a lot of fun smells coming out of this thing the first thing i want to do is try to get some of this stuff out of here and as you can see it's got some quite a bit of stuff in there um oh god this stuff is just disintegrating guys you know the way everything is sitting in here um, so yeah that's what the inside looks like packed guys and everything looks like it's fairly old um those jellies seem pretty soft but let's see what we got in here let's see if we can try to get some of this stuff out let's try to see if we can read some of this and see what it says okay so basically it says exactly what the back of the can says and that's kind of the rules of survival here but that is authentic the RCAF survival food packet AFFP3 
pretty cool. I mean, it's so deteriorated, guys. It just, if I touched it, it would just disintegrate. So I want to try to figure. All right, so we got three jellies there. Three jellies on the other side. And they're looking kind of, kind of rotten, guys. It's kind of a bummer. So we got three, six jellies. And then we have a bunch of stuff on the bottom there, too. So let's try to get these out. That looks to be like uh, some kind of a chocolate. I mean, these are six, this is 60 years old, guys, so I wasn't expecting everything to be perfect. I don't even know if any of this is edible. I would, probably would not try any of it. Another chunk of the chocolate. My hands are just all goopied up. Here is a pack of salt. Actually sounds pretty good. But it is really sticky and nasty. And the bottom. More of those jellies. Looks like a couple sugar cubes in there. Yeah, I mean, everything is just so nasty-fied. Yeah, if you look on the inside of the can, guys, that's the stuff that's not going to come out. That stuff's not coming out, guys. It's all gelled together. I can try one more time. I'm going to get a pair of tweezers and try to pull that stuff out because it's just all globbed in one big chunk. Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, this stuff is just... Wow. What a bummer, man. I wish I can get the rest of the stuff out. Oh, here we go. Got a little bit. It's coming out in one big glob. Wow, check that out, man. Talk about old... Atlantic sugar, two cubes of sugar, two more of those um, little jellies. You know, this thing is loaded with those jellies. I'm kind of just confused about that. I don't understand. They must be loaded with something. But uh, trying to get anything else out of here is, as you can see, um, you know, the outside was mint, but the inside is just totally deteriorated. Not uh, not in good shape at all, guys. And just to try to get anything out of here, it's just so jellied and, and sugared up and sticky. And I'm definitely not going to be two more of those jellies. I'm not going to be trying any of this stuff, guys, because it's just not, does not smell good at all. I'd probably get pretty sick. The inside kind of rusted out. And the edges are really sharp here. Okay, here we go. All right. What do we got here? All right. This is cool. Looks like we got... Uh, wow, that's awesome. Three servings of coffee. That's pretty cool. Um, this one's hard as a rock. This one's fairly soft, and this one's kind of chunky, too. We might try to try to make some coffee, see what happens. Now, as you can see, the rest of this stuff is still just sitting in there, guys. So I'm trying to get this big bag of something out. I don't know what it is. It looks like some kind of a candy, but... I think what really did it was these gummies just kind of ruined this. Definitely ruined this inside of this. Another jelly. Actually got a sugar cube that's dry, guys, and it's nice and hard. Look at that. That is really cool. So that makes... 
Um, three sugar cubes. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven gummies so far. Twelve gummies. Ooh, check that out. Huh. Isn't that cool? And that's all gooey inside. Uh, <laughs> little bag of chicken soup. Our final little square of pure cane sugar. So that makes four sugars. And then I finally got this bag out and I see what it is now. It's like an M&M. Yeah, it's a little bag of M&Ms, guys. All just completely annihilated. It is what it is. Finally getting all the contents out of here, but the last of this stuff is all stuck to the walls. Oh, hey, our last gummy. So that brings our grand total of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13 gummies, 4 sugar cubes, 3 coffees, a packet of salt, 2 little blocks of chocolate, a packet of sh chicken soup, and a little bag of M&M's. And then, got 2 more little bags here. Okay, so... That's three packs of chicken soup. And then I got one more pack in here stuck to the sides. And I know what that is. That's water purification tablets. And you get two, four, six, eight, ten. Yep, we get ten of them. Ten water purification tablets. So that's a nice little haul there, guys. And that's the inside of the container. Pretty nastified. So there it is, guys. The RCAF Royal Canadian Air Force food survival container, food packet survival container that they had on their planes. Um, it's actually quite a bit of food, man. I mean, and hopefully I can donate this to a museum around here there's a couple places out here that have some old war relics and stuff some old stuff like that that might be interested in this so um but yeah kind of disappointing i ain't gonna be able to try anything but you know 10 sterile is 10 water sterilization tablets four sugars 13 gel jellies a bag a packet of salt three coffees a pack of M&M's and two chocolates and three chicken soups. Jeez Louise, I don't even know if I want to even attempt to open this. Oh, God, it's all glued shut, guys. Yeah, what a bummer, man. Just a total bummer. This would have been really good in 1959, man. Let me tell you, I would, I would be able to survive off this for a couple good days for sure. It's kind of a disappointing uh, chicken soup. You can just feel it's just like goop inside. Um, it definitely, that sugar got through and uh, made it bad. The coffee too, I thought it was soft and ready to go. And we can open one of them up here and see what happens. But I'm pretty sure that these are kaput. Oh, God. Yeah, there's the coffee. You can't really see it very good, but it just... Oh, man, does it smell bad. Smells like mold and dirty feet. I definitely would not want to try that. I'm not crazy enough. I probably should have just left it intact, but... It is what it is. I wanted to at least open it up and show you guys... Well, there it is, guys. Got some pretty cool little trinkets here I can keep. It's too bad that food breaks down like this after it sits like this, because that container was completely sealed, but it just found a way to eat itself from the inside out, man. Kind of a bummer, but 
Well, there you go, guys. The 1959 RCAF food packet survival container. Old, 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 guys. I appreciate you sticking around for it. It was an oldie. I haven't had one of these oldies in a while. And uh, it was fun, you know, kind of cool. Kind of cool to see this old stuff, man, you know. Got some other old stuff coming up, guys, that uh, you just can't get your hands on anymore. This is a rarity. I mean, I don't even know if anyone's got this in circulation. I haven't seen one before, but I might have missed it. But there you go, guys. There it is. So thanks, thanks a lot for sticking around for the review, guys. God bless. Go wild. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.